Kev, how you doing, man? Oh, man, you know, trying to, trying to maintain, you know, this whole journey getting my health back in line is, I want to kick my own ass because these, uh, these doctor appointments, are, they wearing me thin, bro. They, the way they uh, holding things down, which, you know, it's all for reasons, all for purposes, just. Yeah. Uh, I just, I were, I have so much regret for just letting myself go. And I, I had an epiphany yesterday. And this one, I, you know, for if we got people to look, watch, view, whatever, th this is what I want to say. Because this would have helped me to not be where I'm at. When your friend, sibling, whatever, goes through something traumatic and they're solo, at home, you need to check on them. It's more than just calling. You need to physically, visually check on them. Because if you don't, it's easy to be like, ah, because what's the trademark? Man, we need to leave. Oh, yeah, we're going to call them. Yeah, we're going to link them. Yeah, we just... How often do you really link up with somebody when you do shit like that? Not very often. This stuff always gets in the way. You're always doing something. So, Calling, yeah, that's great and everything, but you need to physically check on a person. You need to physically go to their house, knock on their door. Because that happened to me more, I'd have to be more active. I'd have went somewhere. I'd have to do something. But since it happened to me so little, I just sat here doing nothing, watching TV, eating a bunch of bullshit. Just day in and day out. If it wasn't, as a matter of fact, if, if the girls didn't have soccer practice, didn't go nowhere. Didn't worry about changing the clothes, just got to work tomorrow, do it all over again the next day. Now, just remember this. Uh, I heard this from a doctor one time, and it makes perfect sense for two reasons. His phrase was, you didn't get that way in one day. Oh, no, so don't no, expect that. to get out of it. So, yeah, be patient. Take your time. Do what the doctors say, and 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 it, it's about can plus one. That means do what you can every day, and try to add something else to it. And by taking your time and not focusing on any kind of timeline or anything, every few weeks you'll notice huge differences. Huge. Just it's about consistency. Yeah, yeah. But right now they uh they did work on my leg. I think I went to the wound specialist, so I got to keep my leg up when I'm like I'm sitting on the couch right now. Got my leg elevated, so um I guess right now technically I can't do anything. So hopefully when I go see them again Tuesday, they'll do something a little better, tighten my stuff up a little bit more to where I can start doing some workout wise. I guess right now you just want me to do nothing. I don't know. It's it's crazy. I don't know if uh, these doctors obviously need to talk to each other. I had to do blood work again yesterday like I didn't just do it last week. So I donated a lot of blood with no cookie, no apple juice, no, you know what I'm saying? No don't, bag of chips. Don't you hate it? You go in there, you get poked and prodded. You like, does the left hand deal with the right hand?